So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you the building blocks that you need to create the best spring outfits ever. Okay. Queen, like the title says, today's video is going to be all about spring must have. If you're new here, my name is Chi Chi, and on this channel, we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If that's the kind of stuff you're into, then you're in the right place. So, every now and again, I always get um, comments and um, requests from you guys to do a capsule wardrobe or to talk about essentials. So, in this video, I am going to do that for you. So if, you know, the idea of putting together cool, chic outfits that you love, that you feel comfortable in, that are practical and can work with your everyday life, then this video is for you, sis. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into it. So the number one spring essential that you're going to need is going to be a shacket or I would say the denim jacket. So you can decide. You can either do a denim jacket or you can do a shacket, but they both kind of um, meet the same need, which is more of a casual, uh, lightweight jacket. Now, I love this teddy jacket that I picked up in the fall. It'll work on the cooler spring days until things heat up. If that's too heavy for you, it's also a great option. And this is perfect to layer on top of your, um, you know, fitted tops, layer on top of your tank tops if things get warmer. You know, when it gets cooler in the evenings, as we get closer into summer, you need a lightweight, um, casual style jacket. The next item on the list is going to be the summer pant. Now, your summer pant is not going to be a jean. It's going to be something that's lightweight. I recommend at least a pair of linen pants, but it doesn't have to be linen. Just a pair of pants that are lightweight and easy, okay? Um, think of what pants would I wear on vacation? Those type of pants. Um, I got this pair that I have here from Target. They always bring out these like linen pants every season. And in my opinion, they are a must have. I'm gonna link this year's version, which I plan on purchasing, um, because they really come in handy for those super hot days, for the days you don't wanna wear shorts, the days it's too hot to wear a skirt because you don't wanna deal with chafing and sweating and all that. These are the GOAT. You know, pair them with your favorite tank top on a super um, hot day. And then you could also layer that, layer a denim jacket or, you know, a cardigan or something like that on the cooler days and then throw on a pair of meals. So you can do a lot with a summer pants and you can start wearing your summer pants in the spring. Continuing on with the list, the next item on the list is going to be a light colored blazer. A linen blazer, in my opinion, is the way I would go just because they're breathable and you can wear them right into summer. You can pull them out for summer nights. You can pull them out when if you, you know, need to look a little bit more sophisticated and a little bit more polished. You can pull them out to dress up your favorite pair of jeans. I think a light colored blazer is a must have. You do not have to go for, you know, a stark white. You can go for just camels and different shades of beige. Those are a lot easier to keep clean. And you can also, um, this pair up right here, I actually grabbed from the thrift store. So if you're looking to, you know, pick up some of these pieces and you have a limited budget or you're just trying to, you know, be nicer to the planet, um, make sure to check out your local thrift store. The men's section always has gems when it comes to blazers and men's style blazers are actually on trend right now. So you are saving money while, you know, getting your fashion life. Okay. So definitely a nice light colored blazer is an essential for spring, summer, 2020. The next must have for the spring is going to be some light colored jeans. So it doesn't have to be a white jean. It could just be a lighter washed blue jean, like these parachute um, jeans that I have. They are, or trapeze, balloon, 
these <laughs> these jeans yeah parachute parachute style jeans that i have they're a little bit of a lighter wash and they're perfect for the spring and summer you know lighter colors tend to ventilate a little bit better and i think they're a must have especially if you're a denim girl like me i know the struggle okay when it comes to finding the right pair of white jeans so if you are if you don't have a pair of white jeans that you love or you're still on the hunt just invest in a good pair of lightweight light washed jeans so continuing on with coats or outerwear another transitional jacket that you'll need for this season is going to be the trench coat or a lightweight jacket. I picked up this trench coat from H&M last year. It's a little bit on the bigger side, but I just fell in love with the details, the um, full sleeves, the cinch chin cuff, all of that, the lapels, all of that was giving me life. And I liked the fact that it was a little bit on the longer side. The next item that is should be no stranger is going to be the white fill in the blank white tank white tee white lo white long sleeve whatever like the temperature is right now where you are like if it's cold you probably need more of like a long sleeve but if it's starting to warm up maybe a tee and if it's already hot where you are then probably a tank you need these and you need multiples multiples i tell you multiples so that you can you know create as many outfits as you need or you can have ease when it comes to creating outfits so so even if you have like white t-shirts and tanks from last year to go through them and look to see which ones are still in good shape and that's another reason why it's important to invest in basics like white tees you know paying 25 dollars or 30 dollars might seem like a lot but we wear these pieces all the time and when i find that when you pay less they just don't last as long so as you can see this white tank i paired it with the teddy jacket like it's just one of those pieces that you will wear to death and so buying finding the right cut for you like for some people like if you're more of like if you have more of a fuller bust then a v-neck would be good for you if you're more of a, a pear shape and you have slender shoulders then a higher cut one like this one that i have on would be great for you but whatever whichever you decide is good for you um having it in multiples will save you a lot of time when it comes to getting dressed and putting outfits together now another must have for the season is going to be the cardigan twin sets are definitely definitely made a comeback which is so funny because like i think like maybe seven or eight years ago the last thing i would want to wear is would have been a twin set because i just felt like it was something you know an older person would wear but now sis we have reinvented the twin set um i really loved this fluffy one that i saw i'll link it for you guys down below but you can also create your kind of your own version of a like a twin set by just you know pairing cardigan with an inner um piece that is in a similar color family so this cardigan that I have on right here, I just threw it over this polka dot dress and well, it's actually not polka dots, it's actually hearts. And if you've seen my, if you haven't seen my Walmart haul, the dress is from Walmart and all the details will be in that video. If it's live, I will link it for you guys. You just need a nice assortment of cardigans. Now, all the items that I'm mentioning in this video, I think is a great idea aside from the jackets to have multiples. Like you should have two or three different cardigans in neutral colors. You can have multiple trench coats because I have multiple trench coats. I have printed trench coats. I have like a standard trench coat. So you can do a cropped trench coat or a mid length trench coat. So you can play around, but for, for all the items I mentioned here, you should have at least one. But once you've covered your bases with all of your, you know, neutral, cardigans definitely consider a pop of color like a pink or a like a neon just something bright an orange must have i saw the cutest pink cardigan i digress and i think it would be great it was from target and i'll be sure to link it for you down below so let's talk accessories one must have accessory i think for the spring is going to be a neutral colored specifically a brown colored bag basically a color that's not black um because we tend to wear a lot of pastels and a lot of bright colors during this time black can be a little harsh so having at least one um lighter colored bag in 
your rotation, in my opinion, is a must have. Now this style specifically kind of can do, 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 go double duty or can do double duty because although it is a, you know, crossbody, it's more of a structured shape. So you could hide the straps and carry it like a clutch if you have to take it to dinner. But also the straps mean that it's super versatile and you can wear it during the day to run errands, just, you know, living your everyday life. So must have is going to be a brown colored or a lighter colored neutral bag. Next accessory for, or the next accessory, which I guess footwear, is footwear considered accessory? Well, the next item is going to be a mule. Now I have this brown mule. I have the same style in like a polka dot. I have black mules. Basically mules are the goat. They're perfect for the fall and also for the spring because you can throw them on when it's not quite um, warm enough to have all your toes out. But you know, this is super easy for running errands because you all you have to do is just slide your foot in. And if you're like me, by the time March rolls in, I am definitely tired of putting on boots. So this item right here is going to be a must have. There are different styles of mules. This is a pointy toe one. I personally find that the, find that the pointy toe ones tend to look a little bit more elevated and a little less casual, but they're also round toe ones. And of course I will link to some mule options for you in the description down below. The next must have footwear is going to be a white sneaker. Okay, this is in my rotation, um, you know, 365 days, but especially in the spring and I guess summer months, just because of, you know, they're perfect to pair with your midi skirts, they're perfect to pair with your spring summer dresses and on those days where it's not quite you know warm enough to have your toes out these are also a go-to they also get all the points for being super comfortable especially if you're on your feet a lot um a white sneaker in my opinion is a must-have it's just a refreshing a refreshing you know addition and Y'all already know, if you watch my channel, that I stand for a pair of Converse. They're timeless, they don't go out of style, and you can throw them in the washer. So, must have. And of course, a pair of pumps, a lighter colored pair of pumps, specifically something more of a nude is a must have, just like with the um, brown tone bag, a nude colored pair of pumps, because you're gonna be able to pair it with all of your fun colored frocks, all of your pastels, all of your bright colors for spring and summer. All right guys, so these are my top must-haves, my essentials for spring. These are really the building blocks of all the outfits that you will need to create for spring. And um, of course this list is not exhaustive, so if there's something that you feel is an essential or a must-have for spring that I forgot to add to this list, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Now I do have one bonus item for you guys because you know, I love to give, no I'm joking. Um, and it's going to be gold jewelry. So gold jewelry, in my opinion, um, is a must have year round, but I think in the spring and especially in the summer, gold jewelry really shines. Um, the warmer it gets, the less layers and you know, items we can add to our outfits and we can really use our jewelry to sort of like highlight certain parts, you know, our ears, our decolletage, and really add a little bit of fun to our looks. You can use jewelry to kind of amplify. So for example, if you're going for something a little bit more boho, thicker bracelets, bold, you know, statement rings, you know, huge hoops. If you're looking for something a little bit more elevated, a little bit more sophisticated, a string of pearls, pair of pearl earrings, the right watch will also kind of help amplify the look you're going for. So I think gold jewelry is a must have and the bonus item for spring and summer. All right. When I'm not on these YouTube streets, you can always find me on Instagram. I love chatting with you guys in the DM. So come over, say hi. We have a lot of fun there. I share all of my items in real time. So you guys won't come for me, okay, when things sell out because they do sometimes and I'm sorry.
you enjoyed this video and want more videos like this, all you have to do is subscribe now. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed.